Yo, this dude, St. Lives, literally sending our rat calls on this platform blatantly telling all rats who got a story to tell to come on his platform. This shit is crazy. And then you got niggas like Saquon from out of Fort Greene and Fuquan all up in St. Lives' chat while he's saying that shit, co-signing it. If you a rat and you got a major story, holla at me, nigga. Brooklyn legend Fuquan in the building was populating. I see you. My nigga say corn in the building. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you when I get off this, say. F. So niggas just, just outright blatantly supporting rat shit. How you call yourself to be a real nigga and you in a nigga chat and hear a nigga say that any rats that got a story to tell will come to his platform. This shit is crazy, man. You know, I know it's been a lot of controversy going on on, on YouTube about this nigga St. Lies signing in PC. You know, for anybody that still doubt that St. Lies signed in PC, St. Lies said out his own mouth that he signed in PC in a recent video and still talking tough, talking mad gangster shit, but admitting out his mouth that he signed into PC. Yo, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna address this one time because niggas on my dick like a fucking like groupie whores talking this PC shit, nigga. Put in St. Lad's protective custody, nigga. You heard? I told the whole fucking story. I don't got no secrets or nothing to hide, nigga. Suck my dick from behind, nigga. Bend over. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna bend over and put my dick behind so you can suck it from behind. You feel what I'm saying, nigga? Suck my dick, nigga. I've been on Rikers Island five times, nigga. I had phones in dorms where niggas was niggas would have been washing ass. Fuck washing clothes. Niggas would have been washing ass. And I was running the phones and selling drugs in there. I'm a grown ass man down there pushing 50. I ain't got nothing to prove to niggas or explain to niggas from shit when I was 16 years old, nigga. I had a wild case. Let me tell you something else about PC on in C74. I'm gonna tell y'all something else about PC and C74. Nigga, in Mod 7, when I was in Mod 7. On Rikers Island, everybody in my fucking crib had a body. Niggas was in population with armed robbery or two or three, nigga. Niggas wasn't in PC because they were scared. Niggas was in PC because niggas had high classified cases. Niggas, some of the realest, most gangster killerest niggas in this city's history was in Mars 7 with me, nigga. I'm not going to mention names. I'll let them niggas tell you yourself. So all these niggas talking that PC shit, all you doing is making about five major legends in New York that was in Mod 7 with me hate you, nigga. Because if you feel that way about me and feel you could tarnish my reputation about being in Mod 7, then you, you're going to make them niggas feel the same way. And these are some major niggas, my nigga. Super legends. So... PC my dick, nigga. I was in HDM in five block, nigga. Pop dog, nigga. Only nigga pressing niggas that niggas was scared of. I was in OBCC four upper. Do your history on me, nigga. I had the Jack 550, nigga, running the blood phone. Factual, nigga. Factual, nigga. You better ask about me and inquire about me instead of listening to these niggas that never come outside. But anyway, any nigga talking that PC shit, suck my dick, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? In my PC house I was in, you wouldn't have lived, nigga. And there's a whole bunch of niggas that came to Mod 7 thinking it was sweet and got their fucking head blown off and stabbed up. So ask them niggas to tell their stories. I got names, but I ain't gonna mention them. But all a lot of tough guys came down to Mod 7 and got their fucking heads cracked open with a mop ringer, nigga. Ain't no PC up north, nigga. That's the box. That's where these other niggas was at up north. In the box, playing PC. But it ain't no PC up north. But I was on Rikers Island five times. Not one time. Five times. And my first time on Rikers Island, nigga, I came through for an accidental shooting that was on the news and in the paper, my nigga. If you digging, go dig that, you faggot. You understand what I'm saying? And fine about that, nigga. PC, nigga, talk about signed in. Nigga, imagine me ever signing in PC. But I could give you names of niggas that I made sign in PC. And niggas that was up north with me that'll verify that shit like, yeah, that nigga was making niggas sign the fuck in up north, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? So you can believe that PC shit if you want to. Yeah, I was in PC C74 Mod 7 in 1992. And it was murderers in my house, nigga. 
murderers, nigga. Y'all niggas was in population with fucking gun charges and robberies. Wasn't none of that in Mod 7, nigga. It was famous crimes in Mod 7. Niggas that made the paper in Mod 7. Niggas that can't go to population because they celebrities from the media talking about their case all the time. You heard? So that PC shit, listen, do you know how many niggas was in PC that didn't sign in, my nigga? You can't control what the fuck the jail does to you. You get cut, they throw you in Mod 7, nigga, whether you like it or not. You feel what I'm saying? I can name five, six, seven niggas that went down in history as some of the wildest cutters on Rikers Island that was in Mod 7, my nigga. 1992 and that's a fucking fact and mod 8 1993 that's a fucking fact like i said general population niggas had gun charges robberies attempt murders none of that in mod 7 nigga none of that nothing but bodies all 50 niggas you're gonna have niggas that hear this and they're gonna come on the channel like nigga i was there they called that shit the body shop nigga Nobody in the house had nothing but a murder charge, nigga. Not one inmate, nigga. So, you know, fuck what these niggas is talking about. Niggas could suck my dick. Niggas with a cane of Mar 7, they would have got fucking scrub brushed and mop ringing and ran to the fucking gate like 50 other niggas I seen running to the gate talking about, get me out of here. Yeah, get you out of here. PC, nigga. Get you out of here. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas getting their heads cracked the fuck open. Population gangsters coming down there. Mop ringer, nigga. While you sleep, nigga. While you are asleep, niggas. A mop ringer, your fucking ass split your whole shit up. You going to Bellevue, faggot. Peace. You feel what I'm saying? So, give a fuck what these niggas talking about. Like I said, put in St. Laz protective custody, nigga. I was on the news, nigga. When I came out the fucking precinct, the media was there taking pictures, nigga. At five in the morning. Y'all niggas cases ain't like my case, nigga. Y'all cornball ass, petty ass thugs that was coming through for gun charges and attempt robberies. Get the fuck out my face, nigga. Everybody in my house had a B.O., nigga. Period. Fuck you talking about. So yeah, PC my dick, nigga. PC my dick. Some of the most murderous niggas in this city right now. Some of the most murderous niggas, money getting niggas was in Mod 7 with me, nigga. For, what, for whatever political reasons they was in there. Keep talking, nigga. You're going to get yourself a whole lot of fucking enemies, nigga. You're going to get yourself a whole lot of enemies that's like, oh, word, niggas, all right. Now you got a bunch of killers that was in Mod 7 with me that hate you, nigga. And they going to want to prove to you that they tough, too. Now, how you going to sign in a PC and then still be a, a gangster? It don't work like that. You know? First of all, first St. Lars try to come out and say that his aunt signed him into PC. My aunt was was in law school at the time when I caught my case. Her, her fiance or whatever was a lawyer. You feel me? So when I caught my case, she got me a, a um, private lawyer. Then with my aunt, you know what I mean? She was scared to death of me going to Rikers Island and shit as she should be. You know what I mean? I love my aunt. And she made sure you'll tell, make sure he get protective custody. Make sure he get protective custody, telling that to my uncle. You feel what I'm saying? So that when I went to court, matter of fact, it was my aunt's, it was my aunt's fiance that got the lawyer for me that was his man. You feel what I'm saying? At the law firm that he was in. You feel me? So it didn't look suspicious. Like a family member representing me and shit like that. So you feel me? He got his man to represent me. He was like, make sure you get him protective custody. Boom. I get to Rikers Island. Niggas take me to Mar 7. Mar 7 was PC at the time. One side PC, one side MO. You feel what I'm saying? PC, like protective custody. Once niggas explains, like, yo, you're going to be in protective custody. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm like, okay, bet. And I mean, niggas ain't sending me to get killed. I'm going to go somewhere safe. Once I exposed them, an other man jumped on board and exposed this nigga. He tried to come back and now say that the administration threw him into PC. Let me explain something to you. For those y'all that don't know how Rackers Island work. They don't put you in PC because you got a high profile case. They put you in something called administrative segregation. Which is a segregation that is imposed by the administration. If you have a high profile case or you present any kind of other threat to the uh, general population. 
They don't put you in PC. PC is something that you have to sign into on your own. The administration don't throw you in there. And all these other guys, another, and she's got some other, now all these other rat niggas coming out trying to clean up for St. Lives. Talk about St. Lives went to fucking uh, PC because he had a high profile case. It don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? And it's mad because other fucking men came out and, like I said, stood up, put their differences to the side, and called it straight down the middle of how it is. That it was some big shit, some rat shit that St. Lodge did for signing the PC. Now other niggas is mad. Now other niggas is mad because Ten Toes Down stood up and called it like it was, that it was some big shit for St. Lodge to sign into PC. Set, shout out to Ten Toes Down for keeping the t Ten Toes Down standing tall. Shout out to 05 Vote. China Brim, who also called it straight down the middle how it was. About St. Lodge being a rat. Shout out to Harlem Legend as well. Yeah. And the whole 05 Vote movie. Calling it straight down the middle how it is. That it was some rat shit what St. Lodge did. Shout out to Saladin as well. You got niggas mad at Saladin because he called it the way that it is. Know what I'm saying to you? Straight up. 05 Vote Cannon also kept it real. Called it straight down the middle of some rat big shit what St. Lodge did. Also, you got the homie Change Bundle, 3.0 magazine, called it straight down the middle how it is. So, stood up and called it what it was with the big shit that St. Lodge did for signing the PC. Now they got a bunch of other rat loving ass niggas that's mad because niggas stood up. Talk about niggas only stood up because I said something. Well, that's not accurate because. Niggas didn't need for me to say St. Live was in PC. St. Live said it out of his own mouth. Niggas didn't need for me to come out and point it out that St. Live wasn't fucking PC. Niggas got their own fucking eyes and ears to hear that St. Live signed in PC. He said it out of his own fucking mouth. As I just played the fucking video for y'all, a recent video that he made after I came out and exposed him. When he called his sub coming at niggas for exposing him. You know what I'm saying, you? You know, where he called himself coming at 05 old trying to bram ten toe down all of us for exposing him uh, for being a fucking PC rat, nigga St. Lyle. You heard? Now, like I said, you got other rat loving niggas coming out trying to come to St. Lyle's defense, talking about anytime you got a high profile case, they put you in PC. That's a motherfucking lie. They don't put you in PC because you got a high profile case. They cannot put you in PC against your will. They can only put you in administrative segregation. I told a story about that not too long ago where I said, like, if you got a cop body, a CO body, some shit like that, they'll put you in fucking administrative segregation, which is against your will. That's why it's called administrative segregation, because they put you in the administration, put you in there against your will because of your case or your, or your jail record. They don't put you in PC for that. PC is for punks. You got to willingly sign into PC. So anybody that's coming out talking about uh, St. Lyle was in PC because the case don't know what the fuck they talking about. And they get trying to go to bat and cover for a fucking rat. And yes, if you go to PC, you are a fucking rat. You don't need no paperwork because anytime you go to the fucking administration for assistance, you're a rat because you're going to the administration for something that you're not entitled to. You know, anytime you go to the administration outside of anything that you're entitled to, you know what I'm saying? Visit, raise, or whatever, you know, call out. Anything other than that, when you go to the administration for fucking protection, you a fucking rat. Because if you go to the administration for that, you will go to the administration for anything else when a nigga rob you. The fuck is you talk about? And you got rat niggas talking about coming on and did a whole video talking about St. Lyle went to PC, but he's still a solid nigga. How the fuck you gonna go to PC and still be a solid nigga? That's like saying, that's like saying because Brian Glaze Gibbs told, but he's still a solid nigga. It don't work like that. You can't do that. Once you rat or do some punk shit like going to PC, you could be no longer considered a solid nigga. And, and, and second of all, outside of that, 
Saint Live was never a solid nigga. Saint Live was never a solid. All that shit about oh he was scared. That's his first time on the island with the PC, homie. Everybody been to Rackers Island for their first time at some time in their life. If you've been yelling it, ain't nobody else signing the fucking PC like that. At least that not that we know about. So what gives this nigga St. Lyle the right or a pass to do that? Everybody else was there for their first time. They ain't fucking signing. I know me and none of my niggas that I fuck with never did that. So what gives this nigga St. Lyle the right to do some punk shit like that and then come out talking tough? Like he's about that life. When he's not about that life. You heard? He's not about that fucking life. And another thing, niggas trying to push fucking St. Lyle to be some solid nigga now. First of all, these niggas don't even know St. Lyle because if you knew, you would know St. Lyle's is a bitch. St. Lyle's ain't never been a tough nigga. I'm going to show you St. Lyle's say out his own fucking mouth, he ain't never cut or stabbed nothing the whole time he been in jail. I was saying, I did six years in the pen, bro. I ain't had to stab or cut nobody, my bro. Okay. Okay. The way I moved, the way I moved is, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm a little... Fighter, my nigga. I just... So where did he become solid at? St. Lyle's never cut or stabbed nothing the whole time he been in fucking jail. He said out his own mouth. And then, this St. Lyle's the same nigga, like I said, that played PC on the island, willingly. He said nigga put him in there. His aunt put him in there. All they got to come back now, backtrack on that after niggas schooled him. To try to say the administration put him in what you lied. But then he also said, niggas overlooked the fact that when St. Lodge came back and said that he came back and willingly signed in on the second time when he came back. This was 1993, right? I was out on bail for my case. I had laid up on the island for like five or six months before I got bailed out. The last time when I told y'all dudes I was in PC and Mars 7, right? So I got bailed out eventually. My bail was stupid high. I eventually got my charges dropped down and my bail lowered by a merciful judge. You feel what I'm saying? In Brooklyn criminal. So I had went home to fight my case from the streets for six months. Now I mean, so I copped out to the three to nine. You feel what I'm saying? And now I got to go back on Rikers Island for a couple of weeks to a month before they send me up north. You understand what I'm saying? Usually it take two weeks for them to ship you up north. Sometimes it could take up to a month. I mean, but usually that shit was two weeks. Now I mean, I went and turned myself in. I was tight. So now I'm back in the court pens. You understand what I'm saying? I'm already knowing, like I'm going back to Rikers Island. So now, like I'm saying, I, I knew the police. The police, I just left Rikers Island. Now I mean, six months ago. So them niggas knew me. They knew what time it was. They was like, yo, I was like, yo, put me back in Mars 7. Put me back in Mars 7 with my old house. You feel what I'm saying? So niggas threw me back in my old house. So he was scared the second time too? Okay, even if I was to give you rat niggas the benefit of the doubt to say that St. Lyle was scared when he first came to the island, how do you justify him signing back in the PC when he went home and came back his second time? Forgot about that, right? Yeah, and I know a few people was confused about that because I put those two videos up together. The one where he, where, where he said that he came back and signed back in again that was the video that he did entitled St. Lyle Started a Riot in the Four Building. That's when he talked about when he came back the second time and signed in in 1993 on his own. In addition to the first time I'm going to PC when he alleged that his aunt signed him in, which he now tried to come back and say that the administration threw him in after being school. But what he forgot is that that don't go like that. The administration can't put you in PC. They can only put you in administrative segregation. And if you up north, they can only put you in IPC or Ministry of Segregation of the Box. Now, let me break something down to y'all on the island, okay? There is no IPC on the island. That's the first thing I want to state. There is no IPC. And we talk about C-74 adolescents, okay? C-74 adolescents, you only got... You got PC and you got Mars 7. And I know there was some dispute about that, that there couldn't have been no... PC without cells. Well, C74 is different. We're talking about adolescents. Okay? In C74 adolescents, everybody know that Mod 7 is PC in Mo House. 
work his mental observation. So see, St. Live was right about that. But you had some niggas even try to come out and say he was lying about that. Why would a nigga lie about being in PC? I guess anything to cover for this nigga St. Live. St. Live was right. Mars 7 is PC. And in Mohawk. So there is no cells in the four building. On administrative segregation is cells. But PC and MO house is no cell. Why is it like that? Maybe it's like that because it's adolescence. I don't know. I would agree with you that anywhere else, it probably would be cells. I agree. But not in C-74. So St. Lyons was right about that. When he told y'all that he was in PC and Mars 7, that was true. He was right about that. That is Mars 7. That is PC. Anybody that ever been in C-74 adolescence, between 9, 1, 9, 2, 9, will tell you that Mars 7 was PC. So St. Lyons was right about that. He wasn't PC. Yeah? Now, as far as, like I said, fucking St. Lyons being solid, that don't fly. You can't go to PC, and then after that, all of a sudden, now you solid. This is a fake story that he made up in other niggas that's riding him, trying to cover for him. It's trying to promote and push. But it don't go like that. St. Lyons ain't never been no gangster, like I said. He'll tell you niggas he never cut, stabbed nothing in jail. Yeah, St. Lyons is the same nigga. That nigga was trying to fuck this nigga in every jail. He went to he tell you that. He tells you that out his own mouth. How it is in the max. I was a light skinned nigga with no type of hair on my face. You know what I mean, 17, looking 14 in the max motherfucking prisons with niggas with 100 years. So you got booty banded niggas trying to come at me. I you know something? Niggas don't try to fuck solid niggas up north. You heard? For all you rats loving niggas that's trying to co-sign St. Lyons, get your facts straight before you come up here and try to, uh, you know, vouch for a nigga that you don't know. St. Lyons was never solid. He was in PC on the island two separate times. He got robbed in PC. Went up north. Niggas tried to fuck him on several occasions. That's what he said out his own mouth. Now, what real nigga allows a nigga to try to fuck him and don't either kill this nigga or break his fucking knife over this nigga. This nigga St. Lyon said his own mom, nigga try to fuck him up no, he ain't never cut no nigga, he ain't never stabbed no nigga behind that. Is you crazy? But this a nigga you call solid? Huh? Was in PC on the island, up north, niggas trying to fuck him. Yo, you rat niggas is crazy, nigga. You niggas be going too hard to try to vouch for other fucking rat niggas that ain't solid. You know? And you niggas throwing Fuquan's name up in the mix. You need to also tell a motherfucking audience that Fuquan's all up in the fucking newspaper for fucking telling. You heard? Don't leave that out, nigga. So he wasn't only uh, uh, exposed for lining up with Kareem Berry. It also turned out that Fuq turned out to be a fucking rat, too. And like I just said at the beginning of the video, Food also still lining up with St. Saint Lyon, who's a fucking rat. Knowing that St. Saint, Saint Lyon did an outright fucking call to all rats that need a platform to come to, to come to his platform. Foot in the fucking audience while he said some shit like that. What nigga would co-sign some shit like that? And don't say, nah, homie, you can't do it like that. So, you know, all you rat niggas is the same. All you niggas that go to bat for St. Lyon, all y'all niggas the same. You ever heard that saying, birds are the same feather, flock together? Tell me who you walk with. And I'll tell you who you are. So that's why so many of you rat niggas go to bat for St. Lyle so hard. Because a lot of you niggas got that same shit on y'all fucking jacket. Like I keep exposing over and over and time and time again, nigga. You heard? But let me explain something to you, nigga. Real niggas don't, real niggas don't bow like that. You heard? So don't, so don't try to push St. Lyle to the people that he's a real nigga. Because he's not. He has never been solid. And all that forgazy shit he getting on he telling about he had a chain up north and all that. That's a fucking lie. You can't find one nigga to tell you St. Lyon had a fucking chain up north. Or to tell you St. Lyon's had no phone. All that shit is forgazy fake shit that he made up to try to rebuild his fucking image. And that's what make other dudes like Saladin come out and say, how are you going to be talking this murder one gang to shit, but then you went to PC. That's why guys like that have a problem with what St. Lyle's fucking said. Not because of what I said or because I exposed St. Lyle. They calling it down the fucking middle for what they see and for what it is. And like I said, shout out all the dudes that exposed, stood up tall and called it what it was for St. Lyle's being a PC bitch.
And I call it being a rat motherfucker, me and other men. Because if you you have to go to the administration and tell them you want protection, they can't put you in there against your will. So he willingly went there. You understand? St. Lines ain't never had no phone on no Allen. Ain't never had no chain on it. Let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. If you ever been to jail, you know weak niggas don't wear jury in jail. Do you think a nigga that's so weak that niggas feel comfortable to approach this nigga to try to fuck this dude, St. Lines, on several occasions? Do you think a nigga that's that weak like that could walk around with jury on his neck? Wake the fuck up, man. You rat niggas is so fucking blinded that y'all can't even see the fucking, the forest from the fucking tree. The trees from the fucking forest, nigga. St. Lyles is a fraud, and any nigga that fuck with St. Lyles, the cosign St. Lyles, is a fucking fraud. And I don't give a fuck who it is. That's what I said. Any nigga that cosign St. Lyles is a fucking fraud. You heard? St. Lyles ain't never been no tough nigga. So stop trying to push that shit to the fucking people. And stop getting mad because niggas is caught and how it is. That St. Lyles is a fucking PC rat. Yes, he's a rat. And any nigga that cosign that nigga, my eyes is suspect. As far as I'm concerned. You heard? Cause real men don't do that. And you keep trying to niggas, you rap niggas keep trying to justify that shit by saying that he was scared. A lot of niggas are scared when they first come through. But they don't go to PC. You can't be in the street killing niggas, shooting niggas, robbing motherfuckers. And then all of a sudden you come to jail, you talk about you scared. It don't work like that. And then after you go to PC, you come out to the oh, well, he's still solid. Are you crazy? Are you dumb? That's just like say any other nigga that ratted. If he if he if he start getting busy after that, he's still considered a solid nigga. No, that don't go like that, bro. You got this street shit. You 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 niggas got this shit twisted. Y'all got this shit twisted. It don't go like that. Once you turn rat or go sour, it ain't no coming back. St. Lies can't come back from that. And he never even tried to come back from that because he went up north and was a bitch. Like I said, he went up north was so fucking sweet. Nigga was trying to fuck this nigga. This is what he said out his own mouth. He been in several jail with booty banded praying on this nigga. And he ain't never stabbed none of them niggas. The only way you could come back for something like that is by stabbing a nigga, breaking your fucking knife off of the nigga. Because that mean a nigga see you as a straight bitch. So much of a fucking bitch that he tried to fuck you. And that's what St. Lyle said out of his own mouth. That's what his experience was up north. He was a bitch. Just like he, exp just like he expressed to us when he admitted to signing the PC on the island. Not once, but twice. Two different occasions. What you rat niggas is conveniently trying to ignore. Conveniently. Talk about he was an IPC. It is no IPC on Rackers Island. There is none. And that's what makes C-74 so unique. You could blow a nigga face off in C-74. All they're going to do is send you right into another fucking house right in that building. You can see the nigga that blew your face off or who face you blew off in the fucking hallway the next day. Or on a fucking visit the next fucking day. There is no IPC on Rackers Island. That's why so many niggas like St. Lyle was scared to fucking death of C-74. Because that building is like no other building. And that's why I say it is unique in that there is no cells for PC and, a ministry and MO. Those are domes. They do have that, I guess, because it's an adolescence. So that was true. That St. Lyle said. That was accurate. It is domes, PC, where St. Lyle was at. You understand that? You rat niggas need to stop trying to go so hard, man, to justify these fucking niggas being rats. Niggas going to push the whole fucking forgazing story to about this nigga solid. He signed him. He solid. What's solid? And then this nigga St. Lyle talk about niggas hiding. Who the fuck hiding when you the one was in PC? How you going to fix your mouth talk about some niggas is hiding and you was the fucking one in PC hiding in jail? You pussy ass nigga. I've been solid nigga from time I came in jail to time I came home. From time I came outside in the street nigga. To present day. Fuck is you talk about, nigga? You couldn't walk a mile in my shoes, nigga. Or any niggas I fuck with. You PC rat nigga St. Lies. Talk about niggas is hiding. And you was in PC. How do you go from being in PC to being gangster? 
Where did they do that at? Only on YouTube. Only on YouTube, yeah? Straight jacket. You rat niggas is crazy, man. Like I said, people, don't let these people pull the wool over your eyes. Street lines ain't go to no administrative set. Ain't go to no PC because of his case. Because it don't go like that in jail. You heard? Then you had other rat niggas try to give examples about Tupac. Tupac and no other rat niggas wasn't in no PC. They was in something in Clinton called APPU. That's not PC. That's something like for high profile cases. Up north, that's what they call it. APPU, not PC. It's for people with high profile cases. On the island, they call that CMC. Or administrative seg. Meaning that somewhere with administration push you against your will. PC is not where they put people against their will. Because then a PC will become punitive. Yeah? PC is not supposed to be punitive. But for your own protection. Whereas administrative SAG or CMC is kind of punitive in nature to a certain extent. They put you there because you have done, may have done other bad things in the jail. Or around the island. So they put you in there. Right? Or you got a high profile case. Shit like that. You understand? They don't put people in PC for that. So that's a misperception that niggas trying to mislead y'all people on YouTube to believe. To justify St. Lines being a fucking rap. But what they forgot is that St. Lines already admitted out his own fucking mouth. That his aunt signed him into PC. Which was a lie. Once he realized that that was a lie. I came out and spoke that his aunt cannot do that. So now he's trying to switch it back up after consulting with other rats. to try to come back up here now and say, oh, no, 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 no. I meant the administration put me in there because I got a high profile case. No, guy, don't go like that. You don't go to PC for that. You go to administrative seg, CMC house. You heard? And this high profile case that St. Lyles keep talking about, that's another thing niggas leave out. The high profile case that St. Lyles keep talking about is a case where St. Lyle put the kill a three or four year old girl. Don't forget about that. Don't leave that out. So that's the kind of niggas that y'all consider solid. A nigga that killed the three or four year old girl. Yo, you rap motherfuckers on YouTube is crazy. You niggas don't lost your fucking mind and go to any fucking extent to justify and support a fucking rap. Then niggas get on here and talk about they don't support Kareem Berry. These same niggas still support fucking Kareem Berry. You heard? Same fucking nigga still support fucking Kareem Berry. Rad ass nigga acting like they don't. Talk about yeah. Talk about yeah. Kareem Berry's a rat. Yeah, he's a rat, but y'all niggas still support him. <laughs> Fuquan, Saquon, all y'all saying rat niggas. And you niggas out making videos now to support St. Lyle. All you niggas still support Kareem Berry. Y'all fucking rats. Burrows to the same feather flock together. You heard? Y'all niggas got this shit twisted, man. Y'all got this shit twisted, homie, because you can't go from being a rat to being solid. Oh, and you niggas got this 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 assumption that, you know, because if a nigga don't have the paper in their hand, that don't mean that you that don't know you're a rat. If you go to PC, nigga, you're a rat. You went to the administration for help. What else will you go to the administration for? And tell them when you get robbed? You tell for one thing, you would tell for anything. You know, and this nigga that's going to bat talking about St. Lines of the real nigga because he got other niggas on his platform. Yeah, he got niggas that get on his platform because they want the clout. Niggas that do anything for clout, views, and subscriptions or to just get their story heard. So yeah, some niggas go on St. Lines platform knowing that he's not built like that or that he's not solid. Because other niggas go on his platform don't mean that St. Lines is solid. It just means that other niggas will compromise their morals and principles. Just for views, clicks, and likes. But what niggas fail to realize is that all the niggas making these fugazi videos trying to support St. Lives, what they fail to realize is that if a nigga compromised their morals and principles for views, likes, and clicks, like you niggas doing that supporting St. Lives, making these fugazi video, videos to so support St. Lives, you same niggas will compromise your morals and principles to tell. If you do that for views, clicks, and likes, or just because, just to get your story heard on St. Lives platform, you would tell for money because you compromise your morals and principles. You dudes got this shit twisted, man. You niggas better go back to the drawing board, do your research, man, before you try to come out and support and justify a fucking rat nigga being a rat nigga.
Because anything I say is solid, 100, nigga. And me coming out and exposing St. Lyon had nothing to do with me having beef with him or don't liking him. I called it just how it is. St. Lyon said it out of his own mouth that he's a fucking rat. It ain't had nothing to do with me not liking him or having beef with him. Because St. Lyon ain't even worthy enough to be considered as having beef with me. That dude is a lame. Any nigga lying up with St. Lyon's is mad because I exposed him as being a fucking rat. And it's straight like that. Nothing else, nothing more. It was nothing personal. I repeated what came right out of St. Lyon's mouth. You can't get no more better than that. Straight jacket. Straight out the dude's mouth. I don't show y'all an update recent video where he reiterated to y'all for anybody that had any doubts that he signed a piece or was in PC. He told y'all again that he was in PC. But yeah, this time, like I said, talking murder one gangster shit. Beating on his motherfucking chest like it was some gangster shit. That he was down in PC. Trying to make it seem like PC is worse than population. Never that. It could have never been, nigga. And that's why he went to PC. Rad ass, that's why he didn't know what PC How you not gonna know what PC is? You live in the fucking projects. Come on, son. You know what PC was. That's why you went to PC because you were fucking scared before you even went there. But now you're trying to run around like you a fucking tough guy. You know you're not a tough guy. And that's the problem a lot of niggas got with you because you're fronting and faking and trying to be something that you're not. And at the same time, supporting fucking rats like you and all those other niggas that you fuck with and co-sign you. They love and co-sign and promote fucking rats. Like, your, like I said, your channel has become the rap fucking channel, you heard? Any nigga that supports you, in my eyes, is fucking suspect. Is not, if not, already have been exposed as a fucking rat. And the only reason why, reason why St. Lodge came out and said out his own mouth that it was in PC, because he tried to get ahead of the story before somebody else come out and expose him. That's called damage control. Not keeping it real. So you rat niggas need to get your facts straight.